Okay. Now we're going to insert a 2D component and we're going to constrain it to this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to place and I'm going to browse to my folder. And I'm looking for the clamp sketch. And yes, I know it's only a 2D, but that's fine. We want it to be a 2D. And I'm just going to place it here. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to move my little mouse and see how it highlights like the axis right there. And then I'm looking for this axis. There it goes. And I'm going to click and click a little green checky mark and then I'm going to right click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin and I'm going to look at it. Come here you. I'm not trying to constrain. I just want to see. And it is kind of like where it's supposed to be. It's still not perfect, right? But it, it's a little weird. So let's undo. So at least we have the axis lined up now. Now we want to actually constrain it to here. So I'm going to come here. So I click on my little tree. And I'm going to find that XY. And now I'm going to go to constraint. And I'm going to constrain that to that. And now I'm going to come here. And now I'm going to spin it. And I'm going to look at it. Now I'm like, good, great, yay. Now it is where it's supposed to go, right? But we have a small problem. What this looks kind of like, like that little nose part of it should not be facing towards in. It should be facing out. So we messed up somehow, some way, shape, form when we did that constraint. So let's try to do that mate flesh again. So I'm doing a mate flesh to XYZ. XYZ constraint. And it is yet yeah, done it again. So it always makes you feel a little better when you see that the teacher is having problems too, right? Let's try again. Third time's gonna be the alright, so we're gonna go third time for charm. So you can see this not just you, the teacher struggles with this a little bit too. And you have to remember, sometimes when you struggle, it's OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it. And I'm just going to right click OK. And I'm going to use my constrain tools because I'm just doing my make flesh. And I'm wanting to constrain that axis to this axis. Apply. OK. And if I take it and spin it around a little bit, see how it's facing the right way. So I'm just going to undo. And I'm going to go back to my origin. And I'm going to look at it directly on the side here. So I'm looking at just this origin. So I'm not worried about the surface or anything. I'm worried about the point of origins. So I know I've got the XY selected correct. And I'm going to go to my constrain. And I'm going to tell it select this one. And I'm going to tell it apply. And I'm going to exit out. Go back to my home. And hope and pray that when I move it around. And yes, it is. Finally, the nose is facing the right direction. So when you're doing things and you're constraining and you're trying to get them again and it doesn't quite work, don't give up. Try it again. Try a couple of different methods until you make sure that you've got it. And anytime that they give you pictures when you're working in these tutorials, look at those pictures because normally there's like a little clue there. Because if you had kept going with what a lot of students call the nose part here facing in, it would have totally have messed up the rest of the drawing. And your piston and everything would not fit together correctly. All right. All right. So congratulations. You have just managed to constrain a 2D to the 3D. Now we're going to go on to video 3.